everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Ice. don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel hey y'all so you guys in today's video today we are doing a what's in my ipad video so today in this video i'm going to show you guys my ipad that i got um a few months ago earlier this year i think back in february or march so i didn't have this ipad for a long time i'm going to show you guys everything that i got in this ipad how i stay organized how i just use this to edit my videos do my thumbnails everything i'm just going to show you guys how i use this ipad as a content creator and business owner basically <laughs> but this is not gonna be a long video so enough of me talking let's get into the video so i'm just first gonna give you guys the specs on everything that i have on my ipad i got the blue ipad 10th generation um i got blue because everyone got pink and i was going to get yellow but yellow is like 200 dollars extra so i got blue mm. um so i got this ipad just to like stay organized and also to edit my youtube videos but that was a kind of a fail because um i only got 64 gigabytes i got the lowest storage for the ipad and so like i could not edit no videos because i didn't have enough storage so but now i just use this ipad to just stay organized when i have something to do i write it down here and also i use this ipad to do like thumbnails for my youtube so all the thumbnails you see in my past videos i've used this to edit because it's really easy as well also i got this keyboard that matches it to uh, so i can like type and stuff i barely use it I'm, i need to start using it more i got this case that's blue as well so i can keep my ipad in it so it won't so like just in case it falls it's going to be protected here and lastly i got this little stencil pen to write on which i really like because it's very like useful and just very just i don't know have it like the stencil pen with your ipad is very useful i would say so those are all the stuff that i got on my ipad okay yeah so i'm about to screen record to show you exactly what is on my ipad so i'm screen recording right now so you guys can see okay so this is my home page disclaimer my ipad is not aesthetically pleasing i use it just to get work done you know i really want to go into the aesthetics but it's just like i don't have time like i just don't have the patience you know like i wish i was like have my ipad my phone aesthetically pleasing but like it's just like i don't got the time so this is what it looks like it has like everything that i want out of life so i want to quit my job there's lots of orders travel on the top left you see like the mall flip spot plaza my thing is like i want to go in there and just shop because like it's like it's just like a lot of people go there to shop like it has like expensive stores and everything like gucci i don't care for designer stuff but like i just i just like i love going to the mall in general but like this mall is like like i just want to go there and just shop get everything i want so like that's a goal of mine and you know is this design it's not the best but i've been meaning to like change it but like, i just never got the chance so now that you open it up sorry y'all this is my home page so we're gonna go to left to right so the first thing you see the clock app so i have my clock app and then i have my notes app as well where i just keep my notes this is like if i have if i'm writing something down if i'm doing a youtube video if i'm filming content for my business my personal stuff i am writing it in here so i can look at it while i'm filming and i don't forget because tip if you guys write something down you are less likely to forget it oh my hair so yeah I, so this is the notes app i use notes app a lot yeah and i do my like to-do list there as well then um the news which i really don't use that then down here you got the clock app today is august 17th oh my gosh two more weeks until we got two more weeks in august then the year is finished y'all 2024 is going back so fast oh my gosh you need to slow down okay next um we got the camera app so obviously it camera camera stuff so you know y'all know camera take pictures then we got the app store you know to download 
my ops and everything then oh okay here so here we got the notes up again then um we got settings then i am going into like my collage area and like i put everything in like in one specific area so like i can remember hey this is where all this stuff is so next we're going to like the photo collage app thingy whatever so I click on here so this is photo everything right here is like for editing doing thumbnails designing etc so canva canva I have I used canva to basically do all of my thumbnails on YouTube so if you see all my thumbnails I use canva to design it and yeah you guys can see here like this is all my past thumbnails and also my instagram as well just like when to design something for my instagram i use it here as well so canva is really that girl if you are a content creator if you're a content creator everyone knows about canva so if you're an aspiring content creator get canva it's a lifesaver and i got canva pro i just decided i need to get canva pro like i'm doing this full time i need to get all the stuff you know sometimes you gotta pay to play you know then i got pin oh sorry then i got pinterest i really like pinterest because this is where i get like inspo from and also sometimes i take photos from here and put it on my thumbnail if i don't have like a um a good thumbnail and also i use canva to like you know just print out some pictures do like my vision board all my pictures i got it from pinterest so I really like Pinterest, you guys. It's just such a cutesy app for inspo and everything. So, <sighs> got Pinterest. Then I got Fonto. Fonto is basically like Canva, but I mainly just use um, Fonto just to get the text on there because like they have like really good text on there. And so like, let me give you guys an example. So I'm going to go to my Canva app if you guys see i'm going to click on this picture so i use i use this picture for my back to school right so you guys see the text right here i would first i would download this image so i'm just going to do it for the sake of the video so i'm just going to download the image downloading 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 okay so it's been downloaded i'm going to go on canva right then i'm going to go to camera oh sorry wrong one I'm going to go to photo albums then I'm going to go here and basically I just use this to do the just to get the font basically you guys because they have really good fonts and I it just it just makes the video better you know so if I want to like up my if I just want to have add a little you know just something in my thumbnail I will just use canva because I mean, sorry, Fonto, because it's just really good. And you know, you could just design it however you like and everything. So I really like it. So I use that. Yeah, so I just use that. <laughs> that's how I, that's basically how I use, I just use Fonto for the app. I mean, for the font. Next, so after we're done with there, we got reminders. So I use reminders to just remind me stuff basically i don't use reminders a lot here i use basically my i use mostly my phone but i still use here sometimes so here you see i got post on my instagram pages both post for my business so yeah next we got where are we next we got business so this is all of my business stuff so First, we got Seller Center. So this is TikTok shop. I have a business, so I sell on TikTok shop. And then you can see like all my sales and everything. If I want to reach out to creators and everything, this is all like my TikTok. It's basically Shopify. This this app right here, the Seller Center, is basically my Shopify. Basically, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not gonna open it because it's gonna show all my sales and if then y'all not gonna get into my business like that. I'm gonna do a review at the end of the year, but not right now. Next, we got Dropbox and files. Basically, those are just files, just like my pictures and videos. So. You guys so like i do like a lot of like studying for my business when i first started um i was learning about marketing so like the videos like i would just go on these two apps just to watch the videos take notes so that's basically what it is 
these two apps you know for example if i want to like just read more on like marketing or something i'm going to go to dropbox just like review dropbox and file is basically if you have like too much these are just like space for your phone you know just to hold like large amount of space next we got my handy dandy youtube <laughs> so i got a youtube here this uh this is my page here um where i post my youtube video and then here i got um youtube studio where it just shows my analytics for YouTube and everything. Uh, but yeah, so it just shows me my analytics. I like using YouTube Studio, Studio because like every week that shows you like how many videos you posted. It shows you that engagement, everyone who subscribed, everyone who commented. So I like using YouTube Studio for that. So this is like basically like all my YouTube stuff. Next, now we are getting into the organization, okay? So I got Notion and notability notion i use this notion to like track all of my videos this like at first i didn't get the hype of notion now like i get it i mean you know i don't use it i use it a lot i can't lie so like i use notion for like my youtube videos so um before i used to post twice a week on youtube now i only post one time and it used to be so stressful and like i would just write down all my youtube i just write down all of the videos i want to do a post on youtube like and remember and then i post it and then if i post I put like the status done 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 then like or to do to do you know to do so all this so mostly I got a lot of done some stuff I got it to do but yeah that's I use notion for that uh, for YouTube I still don't know like the nitty-gritty for you for notion because a lot of people hype it up but this is why I just use it so far it's a little confusing for me but this is just what I have so far then i use notability notability you guys um this is a really good app but basically what it is is just write notes anything like just it's basically like, like just to stay organized if you are someone who is in school i really like this I know, I know a lot of people use this other app i forgot but you have to pay for it and this one is free and basically i just write like i just brainstorm all the notes i want to do anything i want to do regarding business content i write it all down here and it also has like a digital planner here just to plan out your year your month this is really 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 good to stay organized and stay on top of stuff this is really good you guys so and it's also and it's free too so like if you so like for example i'm going to new on the top right and like you could just you know just change it so let me go back here uh let me go back to new then you go to templates you guys see all these templates you could use your weekly planner monthly planner and it's it's just this really good app and it's free like damn so I really like using this app to stay organized and everything. If you're someone who is just all over the place, because before me, I used to be all over the place, literally. Sometimes I still am, I'm not gonna lie, I still am. But this just really helps me stay organized and like, y'all know that feeling like when you do things last minute, then you get, get very like frustrated and anxious and just like, you're just all over the place. Like with this notability, it gets you organized and just puts you on top of your stuff. I really like using this. So now on to the next page. Um, we got the clock app, <laughs> you know, to tell time. Then we got weather stocks, iTunes, contacts. You guys, I really do not use this. Like, call my friends, nobody. Like, I barely use this. Then we got translate. I don't know. I never used translate before. What am I doing now? Well, let's do something. I speak Fulani, so let's let's do something. Um, ugly. What's ugly in Fulani? Because if you guys don't know, I speak Fulani. Oh, we don't have um, Fulani. Do we have Fulani? Oh, um, I thought they had Fulani, but because I speak Fulani, but we don't have it. Then we got the magnifier. Oh, hey, don't look at my legs. <laughs> Ooh, I need to take this hair out. So, this is just magnifies everything, I guess. Um, then we got tips. Uh, 
then we got Canva again. So like sometimes like Canva was on the, the front of first page, right? Now Canva is on here. Like, I don't know, like sometimes that kind of annoys me because like Canva will be on like the same things. Hold on you guys, let me, let me stop screen recording for a second to make sure it saves. Okay you guys, it's saved. Ooh. Because usually you guys like, I have no space. Like I'm, I'm crying, I'm literally crying for space. I'm killing for space. Y'all don't mind this right here. I got a scar. My hairstyle is freaking burn me. Damn. So like I was saying, like I got Canva first on the on the first page. I don't know how to delete it. Like usually I just want to take it out on the if I have it on the first page, I don't want to have it on the second page, but I cannot take delete it in unless like I delete the whole app. So if you guys know how I can get rid of that, comment it down below. Next we got TV. I got Hulu and Netflix because you guys usually I watch my shows on my phone. But now since watching it on my iPad, it's so much better. Like now it's just because you know my the iPad is you know obviously bigger and it's just it just gives like much a better experience. Sometimes I feel like I'm on the, I'm at the movie theater. So I got Hulu and Netflix. I feel like Hulu, in my opinion, sometimes it's a little bit better than Netflix. I don't know. Comment below, which one you think is better, Hulu or Netflix? I feel like Hulu got one up on Netflix. Then I got Dropbox again. Then I got Amazon. Yes, I order stuff on Amazon. I'm an Amazon addict. <laughs> Literally, but I don't got the Amazon Prime though. I don't got Amazon Prime. Then I got Twitch because y'all, I be watching Twitch like people. Like, like, like for example, I only got Twitch on my iPad because like if I'm recording a video, sometimes it get boring. So like, I like to like watch them like in the background. Um, I only watch, don't ask me who's my favorite creators because I'm not that type of person that just sits around and watch people play video games all day no no way i watch um like amp people like the amp members like kai phantom chris agent and davis like i just oh and duke and those are the only people i watch because like they're entertaining you know but do not assume that i'm just watching people play video games all day and no but even honestly like i don't even like use the app i don't think like if they're on i watch them for a little bit maybe like what 10 20 20 minutes then i'm off it because like i don't know because you know they be streaming for literally like like a job they be streaming how much i be working they be streaming for like eight hours and like i am not sitting down and watching them stream it, they're very entertaining though like they are super super entertaining but i don't sit down and watch them all day then uh, lastly i got my photos app um i usually just take photos like these are basically just photos to you know use to like do my thumbnails so i take screenshots then i put it here then upload it to canva and design it so yeah i don't really have like i don't use a lot of pictures here because again i only have like 64 gigabytes on this ipad so i'm not working with much and make sure i don't forget anything and also i got messages the messages app but again oh i need to leak um make sure i cover that because my phone number right there but you guys y'all that is it you guys that is it on my ipad yeah that is it that is basically it on my ipad um i told y'all it wasn't nothing i don't have a, like it's nothing much on my ipad but you know it gets the job done so my ipad it's not like a lot of stuff but it gets the job done for organization and etc so yeah <laughs> so if you came for the aesthetics you came to the wrong place <laughs> but if you came for organ organization and staying organized you came to the right place but yeah that's it um if people say do you think ipad is worth it i believe it's worth it you know i believe it's worth it it's really in a good investment so i really like it now i don't have to do make thumbnails on my phone anymore i could do it on my ipad and edit it and make it thumbnails on your ipad is much better but if you've got any questions or concerns anything make sure to comment it down below i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel i post videos every oh my god so news flash news flash. so you guys I came out to the realization that I am doing a lot. 
So if you guys don't know, I am a full-time content creator now and I'm a full-time business owner, which is, oh my gosh. I also work a nine to five. So basically it's become too much for me. Um, this year I went, I went to hit so much goals, which I'm still going to hit but i have to hit them because i i just realized i'm doing a lot and it's just like i'm getting burnt out you guys every time when i get done with a thumbnail or done like editing a video it's like a relief and i'm just like why am i acting like why why is it like this it's because i'm exhausted like just to just to give you guys a breakdown of like my routine I post every day on my business page. So I have an Instagram and TikTok. I post that every day, twice a day, every day on both platforms. Then I have like a personal Instagram and I post, I have a personal Instagram and TikTok and I post that every single day. I can't believe that. Then on top of that, I have a YouTube and I post two videos a week, every week. Then I work a full-time job, eight to five. So I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted so i just came to a realization i am doing way too much and it's just like one thing had to go not to go i don't because i still want to do all of this i still want to do all this but it's like if you want to like achieve something really you want to focus on one thing then after you focus on one thing you try to do another thing but it's like i want to do all these stuff i'm not getting to my my goals faster because i'm doing way too much stuff and then like i get lazy and like it's like i don't want to do it and it's just like i just need to take a breather so basically all i'm saying is right now instead of me posting every wednesday and sunday because you guys know i post wednesday and sunday but i've been so inconsistent i'll be posting like what Fridays and Sundays. So I just came to a realization I'm going to be just only posting one time a week. That one time a week I still do not know yet. It's gonna be only one time a week. I'm sorry, but I just had to make sure my mental is okay. But um again, thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.